Hello, in this SDL programming tutorial, I am going to show you how to detect mouse events. So I'll show you how to de detect where the mouse is relative to the screen. I'll show you how to detect if a mouse has a button has been pressed down and when it's released up and also what mouse wheel movement as well. It's all pretty simple. If you've done the keyboard events, you feel right at home. If not, feel free to you know go back and check that video out. It's not compulsory and none of that code is realistically used here but it's all you know it all does help okay so first of all let's just get the mouse position so let's say if sdl underscore mouse and uh, we want motion equals event dot type so that's the type of event that we're going to check for is when the mouse has motion aka when it's moved I'm going to say int x and y and we'll pass a reference into underscore get mouse uh, state and what you do like so you just pass in a reference to both of these so you modify the original values and now we'll print it out stdc out for x And Y, STD, and L. Give that a run. And here we go. As you can see, it is detecting the movement. Top left will be zero, zero. And bottom right will be 800 by 600. It's always very hard to get the last six pixel. Let's move very, very slowly, but you get the picture. And then once you are out, it doesn't detect any movement at all. So that's, you know, mouse movement. Let's have a look at mouse down. Again, this is still an event type. So if SDL underscore mouse button down equals event dot type. And then if sda underscore button underscore left equals event dot button dot button. So you need to do dot button dot button. So because this is the actual button itself, this is just essentially, if you try to do it with this, you will get an error. But the actual, the error should appear in a second because it's not a direct comparison. So this is the actual button that we are comparing against. And we'll literally say stdc out left mouse button is down. We'll end the line here. And I'll do a couple of else ifs. If you can guess what they're going to be. It's going to be for right. and middle save that make it and let's give it a run and if i press let let me just get up here so press it down and move over a bit more left mouse button down right mouse button down and then middle mouse button down okay that's pretty cool stuff what i want to show you is actually and you can use them in the if statement. There's a couple more, you know, there's X1 and X2, which are just some extra buttons if your mouse supports it. So feel free to use that. But left and right mouse keys are literally on all mouses. Yeah, I think the original mouse, what did you only have one button? Who one? But realistically, you're gonna have left, right, and um, the middle mouse button as well, which will probably be your wheel clicked in. But you do, are, you can detect a couple of extra buttons using SDL. Okay, so that's just mouse down. But so if we just duplicate this and change this to mouse up, none of this changes. But now we are detecting if these respective buttons are now up. So basically once the user has lifted the finger off it, the down event is when you press it, up event is when you let it go. 
run it. And if I move it over, press the left mouse button down. I have not let it go. I'm going to let it go now. Same with the right mouse button. Same with the middle mouse button. Boom, there we go. Okay, so that's that. The last thing I want to show you is the middle mouse button. So to do that, we just say if sdl underscore mouse wheel equals event dot type. Um, you can detect if the mouse wheel has been scrolled up or down or left and right. My mouse wheel only supports up and down. That's the only one I'll be able to test and show you. But I will show you the code for left and right as well in case you need that. So I'm going to say event dot wheel dot y, which is the up and down. If that's greater than zero, then you're going to scroll up. So we'll say std cout. Mouse wheel is scrolling up. Else, if this is less than zero, mouse wheel is scrolling down. And we'll, these will be another independent else if branch. And for this, we'll say if it's greater than X, then mouse wheel is scrolling right, mouse wheel is scrolling left. And yeah, that's it. So happy with that. Let's make the file, make the project, and then run it. Let me move it over a second. Let me scroll, scroll up. Mouse wheel is scrolling. Oh, I mean, scroll down. Uh, mouse wheel is scrolling down. Mouse wheel is scrolling up. And like I said, I can't do left and right because my mouse wheel does not support it. But that's the left and right code. So that's it. That's how you detect mouse events in SDL. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. There's a link in the description. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. There's a link in the description for the GitHub page where all the source code is. And thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.